one of the most critical adjustments on any camera, film, digital, whatever type, is the depth from the lens mount to the sensor, the back focus. Now on the red, they actually make it quite easy because there's two little nuts you loosen here, and then this whole ring turns, and it's a big worm gear that slides this in and out relative to the sensor, to adjust that distance. Accuracy of microns, and let me tell you, you have to be the accuracy of microns because we adjust this on every camera that we have, not just reds, every camera in our rental pool gets adjusted every single time we do a rental because you have to make sure everything is dead on. Well. We have some big, complicated, and rather expensive machines to do that, but now they, those adjustments are available to the masses with the red null. This little guy is the only tool that you really need to set this now with the red. It's a hyper wide angle lens, and there's, there's no knobs or anything that turns here. It's set to infinity, it's set with its aperture wide open, which is a very fast uh, T stop relatively. Now, that means at infinity, you have, after a few feet, Everything's in focus. You have a huge depth of field in front, but behind the lens mount, the depth of focus is extremely narrow. That's the nature of, a, of an extreme wide angle lens. So what that means is a few microns in front, if this is the sensor, a few microns in front or a few microns behind, the image is out of focus. If you slide this in and out, you come a little too far forward, image is soft. Slide a little too far back, image is soft. Get it dead on it pops into sharp focus, and it's quite obvious. It's really easy to do. Take this, put it right on the camera. Now you will see, if I show you the full frame here, it doesn't cover the whole image. It, uh, it's sort of a ring in the center, and right now it looks like it's sharp, it looks like it's okay, but when I zoom in, and you're only looking at the center, it's the only part you care about, so I'm gonna zoom into the one by one magnification, and it's soft, it's actually quite soft. And uh, now I've already taken the liberty of loosening this beforehand, and I'm just gonna turn this ring until I see the image pop into sharp focus, and boom, there it is. I'm looking at these bricks here, I'm looking at uh, this building a couple blocks away, and you wanna have things kind of far away. This is easy for me to point out the window, but frankly, after a, you know 100 feet or so, everything just pops into sharp, it's either in focus or it's not. Now. I lock these two nuts here, and you gotta be careful when you do that on the red because sometimes you can knock it back out of focus. So you just wanna be looking at a monitor, and frankly, you wanna look at a decent sized monitor because if you look in the little viewfinder here, it's, it can just be hard to judge sometimes. But I've done it, you can do it. Um, I lock those in place, I'm done. I've now set the accuracy of focus to within five microns. The back focus is set to five microns accuracy, which is, as accurate as you ever need to be. I mean, that is, you're dead on. The Red Null is going to be available very soon. We're gonna try and make it as inexpensive as possible because I believe, we all believe, everyone should have this in their kit. It's that simple and uh, critical use, a tool, that everyone should have it, should be checking your Red every time you go to shoot.